Okay, we're gonna go through a uh, multi-channel overlay with just a bright field image and a fluorescence image. So just one channel at a time for these. So whenever you wanna add the bright field image, we have to use this type of a process um, because there's gonna be a processing step using the process tab afterwards to combine the two images. So if you take a single channel of GFP or red or uh, red, blue, or green, let's just go with those, keep it simple, then you're gonna have, and you wanna add those on top of bright field. Um, the only way to do it with this manual microscope is to take the bright field image separately and then combine them afterwards in process, post-processing. Um, same thing if we do a multi-channel overlay of red, blue, green, or red, blue, or red, green, um, any combination of those, it'll automatically do the overlay um, as you manually switch between them on the microscope. But in order to overlay it onto the bright field, you'll have to do the bright field picture separately and then process it after. So that's what we're gonna run through right now is just one channel. I'm gonna do a GFP and a bright field. So let me just start right now with the bright field. <clears throat> and we'll go live and make sure I'm live. Yep, okay. So this is the bright field channel right now. And right away when you open the software on this one, it's going to come up with the single channel per snap as your, uh, your sequence. So these are your, ex or your experiments. So these are the experiments that we created. Um, single channel per snap is like your home base. Okay, so it'll always, the software will always open to that one. And this is again in the acquisition tab. So this is not the simple, just take a picture uh, tab. This does everything in here. Uh, multiple experiment uh, at once. So single channel per snap and make sure that's selected. I'm down here on bright field. I adjust my image exposure obviously to wherever I like it. So I'm gonna say I want it about like there for my background image. And then I'm just gonna hit snap. Okay, and so it saves it up here, it saves it over here, you can see it uh, along, I'm sorry, over on the, the right side, along with the, the live image uh, preview. And so now we can take, um, let's see, sorry for that. And so now we can take, I'm trying to get the glare out of the, the image here, <laughs> so sorry for or any uh, weird camera angles. And so now we'll go over to the GFP spot and do the same thing. So I'm gonna uncheck bright field, and I'm gonna check GFP and select it. Now it's gonna automatically color everything. And now I have to physically turn off the light on the base, microscope base, and go to the GFP. And so I can see the GFP on the stage. I'm gonna also increase the lamp here and then I'm gonna adjust my exposure until it starts to show up on the screen. There it is. I kind of like that right there actually. Looks good to me. And I'm gonna say snap. Now you could do all the histogram adjustments and all that sort of thing if you want. Uh, the gain and the gamma and all that. Um, before you hit snap. So now over here, now we have our images. They're up at the top here. So I've got my bright field image and I've got my green image. And then the same over here, you'll see the little preview images on the right side. And so now the next step is to go to the processing tab up at the top. And you're gonna use the add channels I wish I could make this image overlay go away because it's confusing, but we're using add channels, not the image overlay. Um, so add channels, and it automatically put inputs one. So you look at what the number is um, from up here on the top. So snap 35, and then this is snap 35, and it's obviously the green. And then you wanna put the second input in, which is gonna be my bright field. So I click on input two, and it pops up, and I put in the bright field one 
which is snap 34. And you can double check it there or there. Okay, so those are both entered in the, into there. And now you go up to the top right here and hit apply. And voila, there is your overlay. So your overlay shows up right here. It gives it a different name now up at the top. And now you can have full control of the overlay at the bottom as well for, oh, sorry, I'm trying to zoom in, for your histogram and turning the colors on and off, or not that, sorry. Click on the top of the color and or the white and you can see what it's doing there. On off, on off, or overlay it and do the, um, the histogram adjustments. So you could do a uh, best fit again if you wanted to, or you can do each individual channel. Um, I'm gonna reset it, but yeah, looks pretty good. So maybe I want the uh, green to be a little bit more green. So what I'll do is I'll take the bright field off and maybe just the green brighter like this, and then turn the bright field back on again. And the camera's not picking it up as nice, but oh, there it goes. You can kind of see it if I turn it. So there, that's how you do a, a two channel, or a single fluorescence channel overlaid with a bright field image.